health. We're talking from healthy food, you know, how to have a healthy diet, um, healthy drink. If you're going on weight loss journey, the right food to eat, whatnot, exercise it to do to keep because you know okay health is welcome wealth. back to health talk with mel if you are meeting me for the first time my name is melissa george and on this channel we talk about health wellness fitness and more okay so follow me to the farm today as we harvest some oranges and we're going to be talking about the citrus fruit so back home we're going to go straight into the juicer and start juicing but before we do as we are doing all of that let's check some of the health benefits so oranges are going to help to boost your immunity it is good for your skin it protects your vision it prevents heart diseases it may also support in preventing cancer and it also helps your brain development now these are just few benefits so as we are going through preparing and prepping our oranges for the juicer and juicing and all of that we're going to be looking at more health benefits of oranges okay so oranges help protect your cells from damages it helps your body to make collagen a protein that heals wound and gives you smoother skin isn't that awesome it also makes it easier to absorb iron to fight anemia Oranges will help boost your immune system, your body's defense against germs. It will help you in so many ways. Some of the health benefits I will display on screen so you can read them for yourself. It improves your blood circulation and also eliminates bad breath. So if you're someone struggling with bad breath, now you know one of the things you need to do now the reasons why you should drink orange juice because some people skip it so i'm just going to list some of the benefits it's a great nutrient boost so that's a good reason why you should drink and it's also a great source of vitamin c we all know how important vitamin c is to the body as human okay it also contains folate that's also very important for you so take your health serious it's also high in potassium and we all know how important potassium is for your body okay it has cancer preventing antioxidant okay we're talking about something you can get from your fruits and vegetables and oranges is not the only fruit that has it orange also helps you to see clearly so it's good for your vision it helps your eyes so if you're someone struggling with all of that it's going to help you also it helps to prevent kidney stone isn't that awesome now the health benefits of oranges is just numerous oranges also help in inflammation so don't forget when next you go to the supermarket when next you walk into a store one of the things you should be picking up is also oranges so oranges will help reduce high blood pressure so if you're someone that struggles with high blood pressure then i think you should be juicing on adding it to your smoothies uh orange peels and all of that it also improve your cholesterol so it's going to help regulate and maintain not all cholesterol is good not all is bad oranges will help improve your digestion too okay so yes after eating all you needed to digest properly and all of that it is going to aid in digestion orange is also good for weight loss i know a lot of people want to hear this part because yes some people really want to go into their weight loss and they want to know what to eat what to avoid healthy skin so if your skin is dull and you want a glowing skin, then oranges is one of those things you need. And oranges is also good for pneumonia, okay? So go right in and get some. We call it pneumonia, pneumonia. That's how the Greeks call it. It's also good for asthma and bronchitis. These are just few that I listed here, but like I said earlier, there's so much. It's also good for tobacco losses. Okay, so consume more orange juice and remember to use the orange peel and watch till the end. Oranges is also good in erasing wrinkles. So if you're battling with that, you want to maintain a good healthy skin with no wrinkles, then why not? Okay, so now let's talk about the reason the reasons why you should not throw away the pills. Okay, so orange peels also contain good amount of vitamins and it has vitamin A, folate, riboflavin, thymine, and vitamin B6 and calcium. Just few to mention. Plus, it is rich in plant compound called 
polyphenol which may help prevent and manage many chronic conditions such as type 2 diabetes, obesity, and Alzheimer's disease. Just few to be mentioned. Orange peel is a good source of dietary fiber, minerals, and vitamin A, B, and C. You know how important vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C is. Now, I didn't mention all of those. So now, some other ways you can consume this is by adding it to your meal when you're cooking, right? You can use your orange peels. That's why I said do not throw away. So now we're talking about the orange peels. After you, you might have finished peeling your orange, juicing them, eating them straight or whatnot. Those peels that you're throwing away, please do not throw them away because they are super, super healthy. And it is something that you really do need and there are so so many health benefits okay because it is just packed it's not only the orange and the juice that has all the goodies okay the pills has a lot of goodies also for you some people use it as a scrub but first of all you have to wash your oranges properly and then dry them if you live in a country uh, um, an area where there's sun where you people get good enough sun then i would suggest you dry your orange peels outside you know keep them out to dry or inside to, ju to just air dry you have to leave it that way for some days for it to dry properly but if you live in an area where there is no sun or like now good example is it's the winter season so we don't get good sun in most of the countries because it's snowy right all you do is wash it properly and then put it in your oven and just heat it up little little don't increase the heat too much okay with low heat just dry it slowly if you're using a fireplace perfect just place it above your fireplace leave it there for some days it is just going to dry and dry properly when it's properly dry you can actually store some of those like that and when you're cooking you can add some of the orange peel in your meals it gives a great taste some people use them in baking also some people use them in making sweets people use them in making scrubs so there are so many stuffs you can make but if you if you want to have wide um variety of what you're going to do with the orange peel then you can save some like i said like so after drying them and the rest you can put them in your blender and just blend them or your grinder some people use the grinder you know like the traditional grind grinder to grind so you can actually use that to grind the orange peels and make sure you grind them until they are smooth like fine powder and then put them in a container or whatever storage whatever you use to store things like that at home and you can add it to your tea you can also add it to your meal you can add it to your scrub for your skin okay you can add it to your smoothie what you use it for is just numerous okay because it has benefits for your skin and your system and whatnot so for example you're making a smoothie you take a spoonful or so add it to the combination of the fruits and whatever you're using to make your smoothie you're drinking tea you can add it you're cooking a meal you can scoop and some and add it to the meal that you are making so let me know in the comment section when you go out is orange is one of those things that you love picking up do you know the health benefits or you just feel like okay normally people always say it, it's a good source of vitamin c it's a good source of vitamin c and people leave it at that and a whole lot of people feel like when they talk about orange or when you talk about the citric uh, fruits actually that's we're talking about lemon lime grapefruit oranges and all people feel like it's just good source of vitamin c but trust me i'm telling you today that the health benefit is numerous okay i just try to list few for you and also something i want to say when you make your orange juice those pop you can actually also save them and use them for your smoothie or sometimes when you're making your juice 
don't throw away all of those stuff that comes in it those fiber and all of that it is good for you okay and when you peel your orange to put it in your juicer or whatever you're using to make your orange uh, juice if you're using a blender then make sure that you leave a little bit of the white part of the orange right you know when you're looking at orange the first thing you see is the orange skin well, after the orange skin, the next thing you meet is the white part. That white part also is packed with a lot of healthy vitamins and minerals that are good for you. So when peeling, don't just peel all of those away. And when juicing them, try to drink if you can. Not everybody can swallow stuffs like that. If you can, it's still okay. You can feel uh, after juicing, after you know blending it, you can filter. And some people talk about, ah, I do not have a juicing machine. I do, I do not have a juicer. Now they have the one that you can use with the hand that you you just cut. It's a small one. It's not expensive, so you can get that. Cut your oranges in half like so what you see on screen and just put it there and squeeze it out and squeeze out the juice okay and we have different types of oranges though when looking at them or when you see them in the supermarket you think they are all the same but they are not all the same there are different types of oranges I and mean, there are some of them that are easy to juice and you don't have so much fiber so much stuff coming out and that's also so when you go out depending on how you want to use the the orange pick the orange that is perfect for what you want to do thank you very much and be healthy stay healthy don't forget to subscribe god bless